Hey, what's up? It's Dan McDonald, and we are going strong on this video marathon. I love and appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Today I'm making a green juice for my friends. I got one friend that's sick, one friend that's trying to, you know, detox from junk food, and one friend that's on her moon cycle. And I said, I will make you some moon cycle soothing detox juice. Okay. The cleaner you are, the less PMS symptoms you get. So everybody join me on the detox train because it's like this. Half society is going this way up into the light. The other half is going down into the darkness. So be of the light. Clean out your temple as best as you can. I am the last person on earth that's going to judge you for anything because I get it. This world is crazy and we are all going through a lot. So just do the best you can to love yourself and just keep slowly inching your way to a cleaner, healthier, more vibrant lifestyle. You know I love the raw, living, wholesome, natural, plain, basic unexciting foods but then you feel good so you're excited all the time instead of the the restaurant roller coaster let's call it i've never called it that but the restaurant roller coaster the junk food roller coaster the msg your neurons they're addicted they got to have the fritos you know what i mean and you can't celery it's like see like i'm at the point in my life where i love this just like this i will take a couple of bowls of this and just eat it maybe i'll just douse a little olive oil and lemon juice on top and that's my dinner and it's ecstasy honestly i love it all the water in there so let's get started on this green juice which is a little bit unique today not hugely unique but i have like 10 recipes okay and i've been having a 15 year career with 10 recipes but um whatever you know we're doing it so today what it is is it's cucumber lemon dill cilantro and bok choy now you can uh, add some celery in there you can mix it up and match it up some juices are going to taste better than others i've been juicing every day for 30 years so this is going to taste great i know what works for my taste buds what kind of synergy i get sometimes dan i made this recipe asparagus brussels sprouts you know daikon radishes you know uh, artichoke hearts and i'm like whoa that doesn't sound that good to me grapes you know but uh, i have these recipes and stuff and of course there's always the recipe book on the elite video club i should have not elite video club but on my website regenerateyourlife.org i actually have the recipe book out there and i almost grabbed it my intuition said grab the book so you can show it because there's like a hundred juice recipes in there and right now there's a sale on the entire um website where you get uh, my lifetime of work for i think 197 so you know three years worth of content of my whole journey into raw living foods where now i'm just like living off water <laughs> you know and i'm not going to do that forever because i love food i love juice everything else but you know um you know so that's available at regenerateyourlife.org so check that out and then get the recipe book it's like worth 200 bucks literally you'll have like 300 raw food recipes that are really really good but then move into the juices move into the fruit move into the simplicity and do the best you can so i will stop and i will make juice go uh let's do the cucumbers first so even though they're a little bit ugly on the outside the guy gave me a deal because they looked a little ugly on the outside and sometimes they're ugly on the outside and okay on the inside um and but other i'm trying to find this the little there's these little orange marks on them anyhow he gave me a deal and they actually turned out to be really really good but you can never tell sometimes the worms just poke at the outside and cause a blemish but they don't get inside sometimes the worms get inside and just eat up and down the whole cucumber and it looks okay with one little orange blemish where the worm went in and then the whole cucumber's funky but that's good because you want worms you want bugs you want insects people are like oh my god germs i'm like no you want germs you want microbes you want dirt it's a hyper sterilized 
mask wearing, hazmat suit, a bubble boy, afraid of germs and stuff because everyone's afraid, but there's no reason unless you're not taking care of your own immune system by getting enough sleep, sunlight, fresh air, and pure natural food. Then you never even get a sniffle. People dropping like flies. Oh my God, we're all going to die. How could you do this 300 pound lady screaming at me? You're going to kill me with your mask below your nose while she's got a car full of hot pockets. So, okay, the world's gone insane. Whatever. Do you, baby, because we are on point. We are lighting up this whole world, man. So it's germophobia. I love mud, dirt, microbes, bugs. Parasites have their place. Even then, it's just that you don't want to get them out of control. You want them there when you need them, but you don't want them to become pathological and persistent. So you have to balance out your own ecology, which mostly means oxygen inside your gut which means breathing and it also means oxygen rich foods that's why i love fresh fruits and vegetables because they have the most oxygen rich foods and then those microbes cannot survive in that highly oxygenated environment but they will get into a state of dysbiosis when there is such a thing as um, a lack of oxygen anoxia or um, an anaerobic condition in the body in the gut so if you want to know the secret to health it's oxygen but it's also actually the light the light of your own heart but the light of the Sun and the cosmic radiation which is the lightless light of all being and all power and that's where you just like you and, and you surrender into that it's already there you just kind of let it burn the dross out of the way and bring it up into your conscious attention and you can call that like burning karma or whatever or the purification process or life regeneration wink wink so we've got some cucumber juice we got the absolute gorgeous lemon and I just throw the peel in there too can you dig it baby man I can't believe how good I feel um, I'm so stoked I'm screaming and I don't need to because I have this microphone on my hat. So Dan, you don't need to scream like it's back in the RV days when the flip camera was like eight feet away from me. We've got iPhones now, we got microphones. So quit screaming at me if you would. Thank you, Dan McDonald, Life Rejuvenator. Uh, now we're gonna go, we got the lemon. Now we're about to go with the dilly dill. Man, this will, the dill is literally one of the most mucus dissolving herbs on planet earth so i have a friend who's not feeling well i said let me bring you some green juice so i'm going to throw the dill in there she'll drink that and it'll help loosen up some of the mucus in her lungs same thing with the the carrier is the uh is the cucumber and the coconut water and that carries everything into the tissues like the dill which also helps to break up the accumulated mucus as well as the lemon. Of course, you know the cilantro is a detoxifier as well of all types of uh, elements in the body. And then this uh, bok choy is just wa very water rich and extra vitamins and minerals and flavor. So let me ask you a question you know what i'm going to say can you dig it oh okay for those of you who just asked the question um this is available at um kawaiipharmacy.com go check out kawaii pharmacy and you will be stoked i just did a video for them now i'm doing a video for the green juice I'm like, where's my product plug? I just like to pl plug products because I'm trying to get as much traffic as I can. And believe it or not, this is just my job. And there's people with way more sophisticated social media, um, you know, whatever you call it, stratosphere. I'm old school. I'm behind an RV right now with a flip camera. I go here. I don't edit anything. I upload it. Good. Old school. I don't want a headache. I could learn, the old dog could learn some new tricks, but 
now we're coming back to authenticity, originality. Everyone else has to be like, oh, I shouldn't have said that, blank that out, you know, and edit everything or whatever, and try to hit the right time markers and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? This is old school, DTM, authenticity, real person. This is what I do every day. If you can dig it, then you can dig it. Every day, dude. Juice, fresh food, real food, high vibes. Get a little bit of dirt, but a little bit of dirt don't hurt. Now we're going to go with the bok choy, and that's just going to be the extra. And then I think we're perfect because I got two quarts of coconut water, and then I wanted to get one quart of green. So I'm really stretching this out. Now, you can drink this just the way that it is. Pretty concentrated. Not super concentrated because we put three cucumbers in there. If you put some celery, you kind of dilute it a little bit more as far as the flavor and the density of the green. Sometimes you're like, oh my God, this is swamp water. It's like thick, you know, but the coconut water and you can use any of the coconut water um, at Costco, organic. I don't use the har harmless harvest pink stuff. Ain't never going to happen. I don't care what they say. I've been arguing with them. How dare you? The pink coconut thing is, is good. I'm like, no, it isn't. I open more coconuts than anybody, except maybe one dude in the Philippines who's been doing it for 50 years, you know. But uh, I open like 10, 15, 20 coconuts a day. And I'll tell you, when it's pink, it's no good. 100%. So I don't care what Harmless Harvest says. They can sue me. I'll counter sue them for years of abusing people's trust so get the white clean pure coconut water and dilute your juices with that stretch your money out for one and make them more drinkable too because you don't need to it doesn't need to be like super concentrated there are times when super concentrated nutrition is called for then there's other times where you're just hydrating getting some minerals, getting some vitamins, getting some energy, and it doesn't have to be so dankity dank. So this one is going to be pretty dank, actually, you know. Uh, but, but when I use the coconut water, I forgot I don't need to yell. Sorry. Just turn your volume down. I'm sure you've, you've had your volume down this whole time. It's like, this dude's screaming. It's because I was behind a flip camera for, like, three years or something and everybody was like i can't hear you that was the number one comment and the other the, the number one comment was oh it's raw food jesus they don't do that anymore thank god praise jesus that you all don't call me the raw food jesus because believe me i ain't no raw food jesus i'm a raw food gangster that's okay <laughs> Remember, Jesus was perfect. DTM is not perfect. Okay. And I don't want to be. I just want to be myself. So we got this, bruh. We got this. I got this. Look at that monster. I didn't even need it. If I make four quarts, I might do it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. No, I just wanted to get three quarts. I got three ladies that need green juice, and I just wanted to make three quarts, so that's what I got. So there we go, all in one shebanger. Can you dig it? Let's get the final product up here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll, we'll pour, and we are complete, my young Padawans. Now, you can, uh, what you can do is you can, well, there's a couple things you can do. You can take this, boil it, strain it, and have a nice warm broth. Wow, dude, you're crazy, bro. Or you could take that, if you have a dehydrator, or you can just use the oven, you know, it's going to go a little higher than 120 or whatever. 
but don't sweat the small stuff, folks. Do what you can with what you got. But you can take that the crackers, and you can take this and put it in a food processor, and put some ground flax seeds, get fresh, and then grind them in the food processor, and then put all your favorite herbs and spices. This would be like green crackers, next level. You take flax seeds, a little salt, pepper, garlic, onions, uh, the jalapeno. You could make jalapeno crackers with this. Okay, and then you give those to the kids. So you're juice fasting. You don't want to waste this unless you don't have to. You got the chickens, you got your compost pile, whatever. Um, or you can make the crackers. So I'm going to invest in a processor probably today because I'm reinvesting back in my business. And then I might even get a dehydrator, which where the hell am I going to put it? I don't know. I need a bigger house. But if I'm going to go balls to the wall and become the life rejuvenator again, I want to have. I want to do it all. You know, like I'm pretty hardcore, like uh, clean, super clean, you know, juice mostly. And then, you know, I'll have my one or two smoothies a month, you know, with my pyridime in there, a mango banana smoothie or whatever, or a blueberry banana smoothie with pyridime, just when I feel like it, but mostly juice. And then I got my salads, pretty clean. I I'm trying to get off the salt. You know, I go back and forth between the salt. I dig it. I mean, I fall on the side of I personally do better when I don't have the salt. A lot of people need the salt, especially if you eat animal products, because the salt can help just to keep things clean. You know what I'm saying? So the carnivore teachers will be like, eat a lot of salt. The raw food teachers that get to super high levels they're like, they don't need it because you're just all the sodium and magnesium and potassium and calcium that you need is coming from the freshness of the juices and stuff like that. So again, there's no judgment. We're just going to love everybody and we're going to wish everyone well. We're all coming from the same light unless you're going down into the darkness. But other than that, let's just encourage each other to get through this, you know, Let's just see if we can get through 2024, 2025. There are a couple of pivotal years. There's a war going on, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm really hoping that the, the light wins. Because these dudes are dark. Very dark. And half the world is in on it. And maybe even more than half. You know, but America has a pretty high consciousness and I think they're going to make some good choices, you know, in the future here to get things to switch them around because they're all of a sudden waking up. Just this year, they're waking up to what's going on. You know, they're like, whoa, well, you know, we've been lied to majorly, you know, and so we're going to um, get through this. And so let's just keep on doing our own inner work and helping each other serving each other ignoring the darkness ignoring the madness they're trying to cram it down your throat every time you turn around the truth gets blocked and the lies get celebrated but you're not stupid you're smart you're intelligent you know that you're logical common sense reasoning you've got your intuition and you can see the truth your your neighbor can't see it your grandma can't see it they're lining up for their next booster ya da 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 god bless you have a nice trip you know for the rest of us we see what's going on we're gonna make it we're cool we're building paradise on earth right now inside of ourselves the kingdom of heaven is within you it's already there now and you see paradise when your own insides are in alignment with your true self so can you dig it get some green juice in you Get some fruit juice, green juice, eat some fruits, get some exercise, go to bed early, lift some weights. That's my own advice to myself, but can't do it when I'm fasting. But lift some weights, get some exercise, go for long walks in nature, take care of your partner, you know, love your kids, love your doggy, love yourself, sunlight, fresh air. I'll say the same thing over and over again. And if I do that for the next 50 years, I'll be satisfied and happy with it. So thanks for watching and supporting this channel. It means a lot to me. I'm very thankful that you're here. I, I'm very grateful for the abundance of God. And I hope that you can dig it. I'm going to let this one go at 20 minutes too. I'm out of here. Peace.